Hello everyone, Squee here with an update for the channel. Uh, the second time I actually recorded like a 17 minute update and then I didn't save it because I'm a derp. And I was all like, yeah, I'm going to make this update. I'm going to go get lunch because I'm really, really hungry. But so let's see if we can't do this uh, in a shorter amount of time than 17 minutes, which I'm off to a great start because I've spent 20 minutes rambling about how I'm going to do this in less time. <laughs> Things have been a bit hectic lately. Um, in between the uh, Extra Life 24-hour stream event, which was a huge success, I think we raised over $15,000 for a children's hospital, which is fantastic, and you guys were a big part of that, so thank you. Um, and then this weekend, we're doing Evolve uh, on the streams, which is uh, the Evolve Alpha, and it's a big thing, and I'm really having to jump through hoops to get everything done. Um, it's been like that for several weeks, and as you may have noticed, things on my channel are um, a little disordered. Uh, because everything's been kind of crazy. Uh, I will say this, though. The playlist for Destiny especially is not my fault. I keep trying to order that playlist, and YouTube keeps saying, no, I like it being a jumbled pigsty. <laughs> I change it, and I go to the exit, and it doesn't keep the changes, and I don't know what's going on. Um, I will get the playlist in order as soon as YouTube lets me do it. Um... But uh, I'm going to try and answer as many questions as I can, uh, questions that are coming up, and give you guys an idea of what to expect uh, moving forward from here. Uh, Dragon's Dogma and Dragon Age Origins, yes, they are not done. They are on hold for the moment, and I'll explain why. But I love those games. I'm going to keep playing those games. And uh, the Let's Plays for those games will continue, just probably not for the next month or so. And the reason for that is this. Um, one of my most loved Let's Plays, personally and from the viewers, is um, Swator, the one I do with Kriana, where uh, we are Sith and we run around in the Star Wars universe getting into crazy hijinks. If you haven't seen it, I really do suggest you do. It, it's a fantastic story and and incredibly hilarious because we're derps. Um, but uh, we have so many people constantly ask us, you know, do the Jedi side, do the Jedi side. And we once considered it like a year ago, and we made backstories for our, what our characters would be and what we would do, but we decided not to do it simply because we couldn't go through all the grinding again. Swator takes a massive amount of grinding and time to get your character to the level you need to be just to beat the story. And we couldn't do it. So we decided we're not going to do it. And then something happened. Um, so towards announced they're releasing an expansion pack. And if you pre-order the expansion for the next month until December 1st, you get 12 times the experience points for class missions, for your story missions. And we looked at that and we said, well, if we're ever going to do it, I guess now is the time. Um, because this would allow us to play through the story as, as our characters and not have to grind at all. Just playing through the story would be enough to level up. And uh, we said, screw it, we're not going to get another chance at this, let's do it. So uh, we we dragged out those backstories we made, and we've started um, a Swator Let's Play uh, as uh, Kriana's a Jedi Warrior, and I'm a Jedi Counselor. And um, because we only have one month to get it done, we are kind of putting, I'm putting uh, the Let's Plays of Dragon's Dogma and uh, Dragon Age Origins to the sidelines for now. Or Dragon Age Awakening to the sidelines because uh, we need to concentrate on Swator and we need to knock it out because you have to understand one storyline in Swator is at least 20 hours even if you just do the story. It is very big. We're doing two. So think 40 hours plus and we have to get it done in a month. That is a, we have to, that's a lot of effort you have to put into it. So um, like I said, uh, Dragon Age Awakenings and Dragon's Dogma will be put on the sidelines until, at least until December sometime. Maybe a little bit further if we have to finish up Swator or whatever we're doing. Um, in the meantime, if you're really enjoying those, I do suggest you check out the Swator Let's Play because we're about 12 hours into it so far. And I got to tell you, it's fantastic. The backstories we made mesh with the story so well that it's really fun and it's fun to watch. And I think you'd really enjoy it. Um, otherwise, you know, like I said, they will be back. I promise. Um, uh, so the Swator episodes will start going up in the next day or two. And I mean that in the next day or two, it will start going up. Uh, Mouse and Perrin, our other Swator characters, will again be put on hold until the month is out, mainly because they're pretty much leveled where they need to be and uh, we don't want to waste time that we could be spending trying to get this done on them when we'll just get back to them once we're done with this one. I know it's weird, but trust me, they'll be finished too. Um, 
Then we got to get to all the other things. Um, I know my my channel needs some housekeeping, and um, since I'm putting those two Let's Plays on hold, I'm not putting XCOM on hold, and I'm not putting, uh, you know, Dragon Ball Z League or any of that stuff on hold. All that's going to keep going. Destiny is pretty much done for the most part. I, I did, I showed most of what there is to see in Destiny, with the exception of the Vault of Glass, and that will be going up soon. I have recorded our entire first run-through of that raid, which, if you haven't been a big fan of Destiny, haven't really been, meh, this isn't for you, I still suggest you check out the Vault of Glass, um, because it's a really cool raid. The bosses are some of the coolest bosses I have ever gone up against. There's they're complex, they take communication, they take teamwork. It's fantastic and it's worth checking out. Um, those will be going up soon. It took us about six hours and a few days to get through it. And uh, it's really kind of cool to see us kind of work through what we need to do. Um, but that's already done, recorded, and it'll go up soon. Uh, what else? There are some housekeeping issues, like I said. I know the last episode of Halo 3 never got put up, and that was because the file got corrupted, and I'm just going to have to re-record the last mission of Halo 3. Uh, I know the last episode of Tomb Raider from oh so long ago never got put up, and that was because YouTube upset it put it up, and I thought it put it up, and then something happened, and it's gone. And uh, I had already deleted all the footage. I, I don't even have Tomb Raider installed on my computer anymore right now by the time I found out about this. I will try to sometime in the near future re-download Tomb Raider and get that last mission done because I hate the idea of an unfinished Let's Play like that, especially when you get to the end and then just don't finish it. Um, I will try to get that done in the next month or so. Um, Skyrim is another big one. Um, I know I said I was going to get to the end of the Dragon Age or the uh, Dawn Guard DLC before I went on hiatus, and I do want to do that. Hopefully sometime in the next month I will get to the end of the Dawn Guard DLC because... Um, I I've play I played Squeeper for like a year and uh, I did Oblivion before that and to be honest I'm a little bit burnt out on the character um, so I'm gonna put it on hiatus for a good while and then hopefully you know in time um, uh, you know six months a year down the road or whatnot I'll be like all right you know what I want to go back to Squeeper I want to go back to Freya and Squeeper and and do more adventures in that land but if I'm gonna do that I do want to at least not leave it off in the middle of a quest like Dawn Guard so I will try to get that done um, and that way in case I don't get back to it for a long time if ever it doesn't feel like it's just pff, cut off um, so I will try and get that done in the next month or so uh, what else what else what else I, I, why, why am I blinking? I know there's like other things. Uh, oh, right, the Ven, the uh, Imperial Agent for Sator. Uh, the last episode of that LP has to go up. Now, this one's different. This isn't I lost the footage or anything like that or, or I forgot about it. This was I was having an immense tr difficult amount of difficulty deciding how I wanted his story to end. Uh, I threw out the last 20 minutes or so of the game because I didn't like that ending. It was basically, oh, uh, you go home and uh, good job, Agent. And, uh, well, there's no uh, Imperial intelligence anymore, but... Uh, Hell, I'm just going to go out into the universe and keep writing wrongs. Yay. And I'm like, no, <laughs> no, that's not what I want to do. Um, so I threw that out and I'm going to make a custom kind of ending form. And I couldn't really figure out how I wanted it to end. And it took me a while. And then I got busy with other things. I do have an idea of how I want it to end. So in the next few weeks, I will be posting the end for Vin's story. And I think you'll really like it if you watch the Let's Play. I think you'll find it a very fitting story ending to the story. Um, but it'll take me a couple, some time. But rest assured, I have not forgotten about it. I just, I'm trying to give it proper care, and that takes time. Uh, Ardenfell. Good lord. I almost forgot about Ardenfell. Uh, people keep asking, you know, I, I, I put up this video where I said, I'm, we're going to do this uh, pen and paper campaign for Ardenfell, and it's going to be this huge story, and it's going to go up on YouTube. Get excited. I made this whole world for it. Um... And then that was like months ago and nothing's come up. And nothing's gone up because uh, we've been doing some really cool stuff to the episodes. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, we're still many sessions in. It started a long time ago and we've recorded many, many sessions. But uh, I've actually, Kriana's been making the sessions prettier to look at. She's been kind of animating some things and, and uh, giving a better experience for you to watch when you watch it instead of just watching a, an unmoving map. Um, and that's why it's taken so long, but we're getting along in there, and I will start uploading Ardenfell. I make no promises as to what the upload schedule will be, simply because uh, 
we don't know how long it's going to take to to get the episodes ready, but they, that will go up starting hopefully in the next week. I will start getting at least the first few episodes up, and you'll see what I'm talking about, and you will really like it. I promise you. Uh, <clears throat> what else? Uh, well, we'll just go with this way. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments below and I will answer them. Um, one of my greatest things that I am sad about is that I'm not able to answer as many comments as I used to be able to. And the reason is simply this. As you guys know, my channel has been growing and I've almost hit 8,000 subscribers and that thought humbles me completely. Uh, I mean, beyond, more than you can imagine. And more and more people watch my stuff and more and more people leave comments. And... Um, I just don't have the time to answer as all the comments like I used to be able to. I read them. I read all of them. I can tell you, as scatterbrained as I am, I am 100% confident that if there has been a comment put on one of my videos, I have read it. All of them. There has not been a single person who has left a comment that I have not read that I'm aware of. I'm going to at least put that in there. That I'm aware of. Um, I read all the comments. But sometimes even doing that takes me an hour a day. Um, I mean, you, I'm getting 30, 40, sometimes 100 comments in one day um, between this channel and my old channel. And um, my old channel, I've almost kind of stopped going to because I just I am trying to keep up with the current stuff. And I try to answer comments when I can. But I hope you guys understand that this isn't a uh, I've stopped talking to you guys. It's a I just don't have time to answer all those comments. At the very least, understand that there's not a single comment you write that I don't read. And um, uh, yeah. Hopefully, uh, I will be able to answer as many comments as I can and will continue to go on and do that. Um, what else? God, why was this update 17 minutes long? I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, I am thinking in the near future, maybe doing a, a Rome 2 Total War let's play uh, i just recently got that i didn't get it for the longest time because it had so many issues but i've been told that the general edition has fixed enough stuff that i might give it a try and i picked it up the other day and who knows i might do a, a let's play uh and uh dive into some roman history because i know a lot of roman history i love that time period and of course if you've seen any of my total war let's plays you know i like to dive into history of the time period and talk about all sorts of shenanigans that went on during that time. Um, and also might be fun to uh, let you guys take part in it and make you guys the, you know, the, the Roman Senate, you know, like give you guys the uh, choices of, do we go to war or peace or do we conquer this faction or that faction? Um, that would be kind of cool, I think. Uh, so look, look forward to that. That, that might start sometime in the next month or, or not. I don't know. Basically here's how it's going to work. I'm going to see how much free time I have and how things are going down, and then I'll go from there. But, um, yeah, uh, like I said, if you have any questions or comments, or if there's anything I missed, like, hey, Squee, what about this Let's Play, or whatever, um, leave the comment below, and I will do my best to answer it. So, yeah, I am going to go eat some lunch. So that'll be fun. Woo! Bye, everyone.